Maersk is part of the Logistics Emergency Team at the Logistics Cluster, which is led by the World Food Programme. We've also collaborated with the United Nations, as well as a variety of international and local NGOs. We support these organizations through our African network of dedicated teams offering integrated logistics solutions. So Africa has been at the heart of Maersk's international development efforts for more than three decades. And throughout this time, we've continuously built and expanded our capabilities in line with our partners' needs to move cargo efficiently and effectively uh, from anywhere in the world to anywhere in Africa. With this particular initiative, we understood the gap in the cold chain storage space. and We wanted to help our partners focus on what's important, which is of course saving lives. In the face of the COVID pandemic, we feel it's extremely important to collaborate and support the brave women and men working to provide medical services in sometimes hard to reach geographies on the continent. For this particular operation, we needed the in to incorporate multiple stakeholders. We had the business leaders at the global level, uh, in our regional offices, as well as within Eastern Africa, to come together and make those commercial commitments. We needed approvals on you know, purchasing containers, engine sets, mobilizing this equipment, and also allocating the different resources that would be required to make this work. Along the, the supply chain, our external partners came in and, and gave us very specific um, requirements and then our colleagues in the different countries. For instance, we, we had our colleagues in Kenya, in Uganda, and in South Sudan um, commit themselves to ensure that we have a smooth operation all the way. These refrigerated containers can be plugged into a permanent or a mobile power supply and thereby act as uh, mobile temporary storage uh, facilities for pharmaceutical products and other perishables. And in areas where such facilities are not readily available, we see this as a great advantage to local communities. So along with the refrigerated containers, we have also contributed mobile generators, which enables the solution to be completely self-sufficient. I see Musk's determination to make it a positive impact to humanity. We also support our customers to make sure that their logistics are more sustainable. And along with a culture of responsible business practices that is inculcated in the way we do business, Musk is really making a long-term commitment to the planet and humanity at large. We work with humanitarian organizations supporting their responses to emergencies. In line with the UN Sustainable Development Goals, we also extend logistics support for transformative projects in the fields of education, health, environment, and nutrition, for example. And in Africa, in this part of the world, we offer an end-to-end -end logistics services for a variety of humanitarian goods, both food and non-food items. In many cases, these are lifelines to distressed communities. These containers, refrigerators containers, are brought to support the existing uh, cold chain system in South Sudan with a special emphasis to uh, COVID-19 vaccinations in the country. The containers uh, that contain uh, cold chain are going to support our work here first as International Medical Corp to store some of the medicine that require a cold chain. But on top of all, and what is most important, is that we are entering now uh, the phase of vaccine deployment in South Sudan. And this cold chain will be paramount to uh, store vaccines that will be distributed to the healthcare workers that are working inside the infectious disease unit that is being supported by International Medical Corp. We are very happy with the support that is being provided in terms of increasing the capacity of cold chain in South Sudan. This will not help only in terms of COVID-19, but even in the longer run, there are a lot of vaccines that are being implemented, that are being delivered in South Sudan to protect children and women in this country. These vaccines are also part of medicine and they will require some uh, temperature that has to be provided and looking at the capacity and especially the deployment of the COVID uh, vaccines in the country at the moment, 
we need those kind of hot spots to help us uh, make sure that at that particular level we will be able to easily uh, take the vaccines to the last mile. It's extremely rewarding to know that the work we do is making a difference to people's lives. At Maersk, we are passionate about becoming the global integrator of container logistics. The better we get at streamlining supply chains, the more opportunities become accessible to all. And in turn, people are empowered to help themselves realize their dreams, whatever that may be. This project is a small step in that direction and we're extremely privileged to be involved.